Last week, uh, in our fool's cap method here, we were talking about narrative device, which means who tells the story. Like Huck Finn tells the story in Huckleberry Finn, or Scout tells the story in um, To Kill a Mockingbird. But there's a second half to this, to narrative device. And the second half is, who is this person telling the story to? And what tone of voice do they take? towards this, and this is, again, it's another thing that we as writers, we have to decide right away. We can't write the first word until we know this. So I'm thinking of the opening sentences of The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. And it starts out like this. Robert Cohn was once middleweight boxing champion of Princeton. Do not think I'm much impressed with this as a boxing title, but it meant a lot to Cohn. Now, what's interesting about that to me is that uh, the character, the speaker, is a character named Jake Barnes, but the tone he's taking to a reader is a kind of a confidential friend. Like, I'm going to take you inside this story, I'm going to tell you everything, and I'm not holding anything back. And now, in a thriller, it might be a whole different tone of voice. If we're in the third person, and we're telling a story of uh, a nuclear submarine like a Tom Clancy story or a James Reese, you know, thriller like by Jack Carr. In that case, the sort of the avatar of the reader, to me, in my mind, is like a businessman on an airplane. And it's a sort of a male-to-male -male tone of voice and a male-to-male -male reader that they're talking to. And the uh, narrator, the third-person narrator, the omniscient author will be talking from a real point of knowledgeability. Like in any kind of Jack Carr thriller, you know that Jack Carr himself was a Navy SEAL sniper and he knows that world totally that he's writing about. But what he'll be talking to is he'll give credit to the person in the tone of voice, the reader, that the reader can keep up with him. And we'll talk at a very high level. Again, a kind of a confidential level. We have to decide this at the start. Now, I'll tell you another example from my own stuff. One of my books, Last of the Amazons, is a story set in around 1200 BC about the race of female warriors and, it's, and, and told as if it's absolutely real from that time. And it's told in the first person by a young woman, or actually an older woman remembering her younger days, when she was present at the last kind of battles of the Amazons. But the interesting thing, and this way this worked in the story was, she's not telling it generically to readers, but the conceit of the story is that she has gathered a group of young girls, young Athenian women of a special class, and she's telling the story to them and saying to them, you must never tell this to a man, not your husband, not your brother, not your son. No man must ever hear this story. And that gives it a whole different feeling. Basically what I'm saying here is when we get into narrative device, we have to think not only who tells a story, but who are they telling it to? And what tone of voice are they taking? Very important, we can't write word one until we know this.